And you're, and you're saying, well, I'm not going to believe you. Yeah, well, I believe All he's, he's saying, if you're thankful, believe me. No, but I believe in him as a saint. As, as, a, as a saint? Yeah. He is a saint. Yeah, in my beliefs, he is. In, no, in the Bible, according to the Catholic rubbish, right, a saint is someone who's like super holy and super happy. No, I'm not. That's rubbish. In the Bible, it says those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, they're saints. But how do you know I'm a saint. Yeah. I've been forgiven. I, I'm a saint. We just hear that means very, very modest, aren't you? No, no, no. You, you don't, you're, you're understanding the wrong idea. A saint is not someone who's perfect. The saint is someone who believes in Lord Jesus Christ. I'm that's a sinner. You, that's your saved by grace. No, it's that's what the Bible says. Well, how, it says it's time to touch. Show me. Huh? Okay, he writes to different church. You've got, right, you've got the No, you just define saint and you say it's what the Bible said. Yeah? Show me. Okay. Show me what a saint is. Yeah. To okay. the saints at Ephesus, to the saints at Galatia, to the saints at Philippi. Show me, what are you talking about? Show me. You're saying it's something in the Bible, show me. Uh, unto the church of God, which is Corinth, sanctified in Christ, called to be saints. There you go. There's your proof. They're saints. Corinth. So if you read the book of Corinth. What were they doing? He was disciplining. He said, why are you doing all this? You're sinning. And yet they were called saints. Okay, but because they believe. Oh, no. Okay. I'll just prove it. Okay. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm a saint. I'm forgiven. I'm not perfect. No one is perfect. But I'm forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ. Who do you, who do you trust? Yeah, Where's Hashem? Hashem good on that. I'm not. Okay, so he wrote through that. Why? Because God can communicate with, my, with your brain. I can't my phone. We use words. <laughs> Animals. You don't let me talk. You're not Sorry, go. Okay, but if this, but it's What's written by like 40 authors. Are they all? It is. So all, all prophets and kings. No, Sensible well, some of them are prophets, I think. Well, like John, uh, who, who are they? They, they came like John after. John prophesied. John, John was on. He, he wrote the book of uh, Revelation at the end. He was on. He was on the Isle of Patmos. He wrote Revelation. So he's a prophet. Sin of the world. That's what he said. He said, "Look, he's the sacrificial lamb who takes away the sin of the world." That's what he said. John the Baptist. So he was a prophet. They're all prophets. If God is God, he can write a book. If he's stupid, he can't. But God's not stupid. He made your brain. You're not stupid. You speak a lot of sense. 760 miles an hour. Sound is hitting your ears. And it's hitting your brain. You're able to assimilate all that information. You can probably speak another language well, as well. You your brain is phenomenal. God, if he's clever enough to make your brain, he can write a book. He can come down to this planet. He can communicate. How Tell me one thing Jesus did wrong. How, how do you know Sorry? God wrote that? Yeah, exactly I've read it. Most people yeah. say, oh, the Bible's a lot, a lot of rubbish. Of people had, well, a lot I checked it out. And don't, so, still don't believe God wrote Archaeologically, history, historically, it's spot on. What about theologically? Yeah, that's on your uh, level of <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not my it could, Russia. I've checked it, it out. It could be I've different for some I'll some tell you what, have you checked out Genesis 6 6 where it says God regretted? Uh, no, what, he, do you know what? In the original language, uh -huh. it's, it's Naham. And what does it mean? Do you know what Naham means? What does it mean? It means to repent. Oh, exactly. Each, do you know what Naham God repented. Means? That's even worse. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a, it's, this is a contradiction. It means he changed his life. Naham means to change your mind. When he saw the evil that was around, he yeah. thought, why did I make these? So in sorry, sorry. Oh, no, continue what you were saying. He's there, thinking in time. Hang on, he was see, thinking, why did I make these he, decisions? So yeah, did he so make the wrong decision? No, 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 no. Here, I'll, I'll answer. I'll answer. But he's thinking in time, he's outside of time. God is outside of time. Yeah. Exactly. And did he not plan but that? He can be in time as well. Sure. No, no. Because he's the God. Because he can do everything. Hold, so hold on, hold on. outside of time, he knew it's going let's, to happen. Let's look but at the verse. Time, because many people don't know what the verse is okay, talking let's about. Take the the verse, okay, the verse okay, okay. read the verse. Yeah. Yeah, the verse is the talking verse, about bear with me, yeah? God repented or regretted. Naham. Hold on. He changed his mind. Yeah, let's we, we don't talk Hebrew, yeah. We don't we know English. Time. Okay. So here's the verse, yeah? So this yeah, is from verse. Genesis 6 5. Yes. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on earth and that every inclination of the thoughts of the yeah. human heart was only evil all the time. Genesis 6 6. The, the Lord part. regretted that he had made human beings on, on the earth yeah. mm -hmm. and his heart was deeply troubled. Yes, yes. Genesis 6 7 further to this heart. says, so the Lord said I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created yep. and with them the animals, the birds and the creatures that move along the ground for I regret a second time God has repeated Naham. I regret in Hebrew, that I okay. have Naham, made regret or repent first and foremost and in Hebrew, and it's no, uh, on, metanoia, metanoia I, in the Greek can I ask you the question yeah did God plan humanity to come on earth? He's outside of time, yeah. He, he, so he he's, he's written, he the, he's written the end. So the prophecies, he, he tells you what's going to happen in the future. I haven't finished my question. You already started to answer. Got, no. Let me finish the question. Okay, sure. The question is this. If God had planned everything from yes, the beginning, he has. yes, he surely knew that human beings were going to yes. cause trouble. Outside of time, yes. There you go again. And he's Let me finish the question, please. Yeah, yeah. Well, go, go on. You keep interrupting. How will no, I do no, that? No, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Third attempt. Hopefully, you'll get lucky this time. 
So if right. God if God had planned everything, pre-planned everything, yeah. yes, and God knew everything about the future, yeah. yes, and he's like you said beyond time. Yeah. Then why does he regret or repent something that he knew was going to happen anyway? Okay. You finished? That's the question, yeah. Outside of time? Yep. Yeah. He knows what's going to happen. Yep. The end. He's already in heaven. He's living in the eternal now. Exactly. He yeah. created time. Here's the beginning of time. Here's the end of time. Right. He can step into time yep. and tell you what's going on in his heart. Right. He's in time. He said, look at these people. They're sticking two fingers up at me. Noah, he's the only true prophet and his three sons, Ham, Shem, Yafet, yep. and their three wives. Everyone else is doing that. So in time, God said, look, what a mess. So he's outside of time and he's in time because right. he's perfect. He can do that. So in time, he's just he's communicating to us in time and saying, what a mess. What are you doing? Why did I make you? So he's he's communicating. He's not a food. I'm outside. Of, I knew it's going to happen. I have no emotion. I have no heart. But no, he's communicating in time. So sometimes he does that. No, no, hold on. You know, when when a person repents or regrets, when they realize they have made a mistake. Yes. Do you, do you agree with that? But, when a person no usually regrets or repents yeah. his mistakes. Yes. Do you think God made a mistake by creating men? No. Then why did he repent or regret? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my point. It's the context. You got it. If you take the text we know the context. out of context. No, we know the context. context. Yeah, he read read the words for yeah, you yeah, within the, the context. context. He's, in, he's, he's talking in time. He's outside of time and he's in time. My friend, just, like, just, just like you have confirmed that God does not make mistakes, then why should he repent or it regret? It wasn't a mistake. He, he's, he was looking at it. He's, oh, he's, he's just saying, oh, why did I make you? He's not saying, whoops, I shouldn't have done it. No, he's, you no, regret it. Yeah, but the, the word regret means when you make yeah, a mistake, you regret. It's Naham. You've got to know the context of Naham, the Hebrew word. Yes, but the all and the Bible translators, it, hold on, all the Bible translators use the word either regret, repent, or yeah. sorry. Well, you've got to translate. Wait a minute. The original Hebrew is perfect, but the English is not spot on. So you're saying there's no word for Naham in English? Not perfect, because it's the whole context of it. Well, the context. Regret. Do you really think all these all these people who wrote the Bibles in English? They didn't, they didn't, did not look at the context. They just use the word regret. Yeah, that's the closest you can get. Regret. Come on. Okay, regret, exactly. Yeah. Which only is happening when a person realizes he or she makes a mistake. Are you, say, are you saying then that the, uh, the Bible is, is just is something to be dismissed? No. I think there's mistakes. No, I'm saying the As Bible. Muslim, you believe the Bible, the Old Testament that you've got. You know what is the earliest manuscript you have? Be a free thinker. From the time of Moses until the earliest manuscript, which I believe is uh, it's, it's from the Nag Hammadi, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls. You've got a thousand years. For a thousand years, you've got not a single manuscript. Are you okay. saying there wasn't enough room for these texts to be somehow right, be you've corrupted? You've got to understand scribes. There were hundreds of scribes throughout the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and the rest of the Tanakh. Yes. Okay, the whole of the Old Testament. Now, their whole job, hundreds of them, not two, there's hundreds of them. They had to meticulously copy, 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 copy. Were they off in their jacuzzi or playing golf with President Trump? No, they weren't. They were there meticulously, day in, day out, copying it. So it was spot on. How That's do you know spot on? So how do you know spot on? Is this Wait, are you scribes, saying those scribes never they, made a mistake? If they don't copy it, all of them, all those hundreds of scribes, they're, they're in big trouble. My they're friend, in big trouble. Are you saying then? God is watching. That's your job. Of course. God says, right, you're a scribe. Copy what Moses, Musa, what he wrote. No, no, Musa did not write the Old Testament. So do you know what Jeremiah uh, said? Are you saying Moses? Are you saying Moses actually wrote about him, himself dying and being buried in the last book of uh, Joshua. The, the, Joshua. Joshua wrote that. Uh, wrote but you that. said Moses. He wrote the first. Now you're saying Joshua. Okay, well, good. The last bit was Joshua. Okay, let me ask you. Let good me ask you this question. Regarding your scribes as well, though. Yeah. Huh? Regarding your scribes, yeah. Jeremiah in eight eight says, "How can I was we say we to are wise?" And that we have the Lord. Before, the Lord. before we go that, let me let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Do you really think the scribes have not made a single mistake? No. Not of them. Have you got any evidence for that? Uh, yeah, here it is. What is it? Here it is. Read Jeremiah 88 as well after you read that. In the Bible. <laughs> read, in the original read. Hebrew. Not, not in the English, but in the I'll original Hebrew. I'll tell you what, Hebrew. you read it in Hebrew, in English, well, in French, in, in Aramaic, Aramaic well. and Greek. I read it. I, read, I was in Jerusalem, Jerusalem yeah. and I read it. I got the, the shrine of the book and I read it in Hebrew. In what language? You read it in Hebrew. Wait, wait. Hebrew. I can read okay. Hebrew. And how old is that manuscript? It was, uh, that was uh, 400 BC, was it? 400 BC. 400 BC? Yeah. Wow, so you got something older than the Dead Sea Scrolls? No, that was, they found it. They oh, those are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. good. Do you know how many, how many years before that Moses lived? At least 1300 years? 1200 years? Yeah. Yes. So they copied So, so you're telling me, scribes. wait, wait, hold on. Hold. Do you, do you, don't you I'm, I'm trying to get the timeline right. It's job My friend. copy the scribe, the scribe, that's their job. <laughs> My friend, just because it's their they job be doesn't mean they make no mistake. They're there not God. Hundreds. It's not just one, there's hundreds of them. And that's why you got hundreds of different variances. 
No, 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 no. You've got the one. You got one Hebrew. Old covenant yeah. book. You know Christians can't even agree upon 66 books or 73 books. Christians, Christians don't. <laughs> they can't even agree on the number I of books. Say let alone the different variants. Ninety percent of Christians who you speak to, they don't know this stuff. They don't know any Hebrew. They don't know any Greek. They're just watching the God Channel and they're listening to Benny Hinn and you saying, oh, and all that sort no, of no, I'm talking about the Bible. I'm not talking about those people. Who, don't go by. I'm not talking about the layman. I'm talking about the people the who actually read the Bible. In the end times, there will be crazy Christians who are following all. Yeah, sorts but we are not talking about those Christians. Okay. I'm talking about the people who actually ones who know their stuff. No, I'm talking about the people who put the Bible together. Yeah. Do they know if it's do, do they know it's 73 books or 66? What, what do you think about Moses? No, no, answer the question. 66 books or 73 books? Which is the correct version? Both wrong. So how many books then you reckon? It wasn't 66. So how many books you tell okay. me? Okay. If you go to uh, if you speak to a Hebrew person, they will know that one Chronicles, two Chronicles, one Kings, two Kings, and one um, one, one Samuel, two Samuel. They are regarded as one book. So in actual fact, when they say there's 66, there's 63. Because those three books, uh, they're divided in two, but, so there's actually 63. Okay, so you think there are 63 books and everyone else is wrong? All the people well, who claim no, otherwise those, are wrong. Those who, uh, those who know their stuff, it's, it, well, you can make up any number, but it's 63. Okay, 63. Yeah. And what makes you think when you got a gap, a manuscript gap of over a thousand years, yeah. how do you know it's intact for those thousand years? On what basis? Other than your claim? Scribes, it's their job. It's, 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 yeah, but you don't they, have anything written by scribes for a thousand years. God will strike them down and say, "Look, I've given you a job. <laughs> write it down. There's hundreds of you. Do your job properly." And so that's if they what make they a mistake. They'll be have punished. you? Have you? If, yeah. Have you? Do you? Do you know any scribe who died from writing? Uh, no, they were too scared to make any mistakes. Were they? <laughs> So, they, they, so, they, you're, they, so you're telling me that every single scribe, they did not make a single mistake. No, 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 Come no. on. Okay, here's the thing. I think you need to do some, the manuscript. No, no, no. Some of them work. Some research. But then you've got the other 97. or well, there's actually more than 97. They say, hang on. This, listen, mate. You've just made a mistake. You've lost a job. Okay, I'll tell you and what. And then the 97 carry Let me ask you this. Name me, no, 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 hold on. Thing. Let me ask you this. Let's name me, to, name me let's one. Let's get to Isa. No, 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 no. Let's, so let's not fast forward. Ibn Miriam. Let's not fast forward. Name me, name me one scribe, who has, me scribe who has written. Wait a minute. Name me one scribe who has written. Who has written from the time of Moses. One scribe gone. Give me one name. Name of one scribe. Because you think all the scribes are perfect, they never made a mistake. This is your claim, but you have no evidence for it, other than your claim. So, can you even name them? Can you even name one scribe? Here. Says it in here. It says in here what? It says in Jeremiah 8, 8, the lying pens have falsified the word of God. What more you want? What, 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 hey, what does it say? Read it. No, what, what, no, no, read it. No, what is it? Where, where, I paraphrase, it's saying the lying pen of the, the, of the scribes have falsified the word of God. I where? paraphrase where it. Where does it say Jeremiah that? 8, verse 8. Jeremiah 8. What's 8? Now, what scribes is he talking about? There were loads of <laughs> The same scribe prophets. you said didn't make any mistakes, <laughs> apparently. So you're saying the whole of the Bible's wrong? No, I'm telling you to read Jeremiah it. Read it. That. Read it for yourself. Yeah, it. And I'll tell you what, then you translate it in Hebrew. Look at the original Hebrew and you tell me what it means. How about Jeremiah that? what? 8-8 eight, eight for the it third time. It sounds a bit scientific what you're getting. You know, it sounds like you're getting very scientific about basically very simple. It should be. The manuscript think, evidence has to be scientific in order I hearken, and this is a, he's talking oh, about yeah, the false scribes. Circle, he's talking about Does the false Does it use the word false scribes? Yeah. yeah go on. I hearken and heard, but they spoke not right. No man repents of his wickedness. What have I. I'd say he's talking about wrong people. Yay. Uh, the stalk in heaven knows their appointed times. How do you say? How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is, us, is, uh, is with us? Lo, certainly in vain. Mm -hmm. really? Made he it. The pen of the scribes is vain. Is what, vain. Sorry, which the, version of the Bible is that? It's King James. King James. Okay. Is that is that accurately believed? The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and take. They have rejected the word of the Lord yes. because they're following false. So what? False scribes. So you we do have false problem. scribes. We do. Hey, Unlike you, you said you earlier, you all the scribes and you didn't make a problems. single mistake. That's I'm what you said. Talking about, I'm talking about the right ones. I'm the. I'm talking about the have true prophets. Can you name me one, one right scribe? Go on. Name me one scribe from the time of Moses. Scribes. So you don't know the names. How do you know they never made mistakes? I know the exactly. prophets and the kings. But hold on. The prophets and the kings. Yeah. Stories that you, you find. Dawood, hold on. And the Musa, prophet, one, one second, my friend. You believe in the prophets. The prophet and the king stories that you find in the Bible are written by unknown people. We don't know who they are. How do you know they didn't never make mistakes? That's my point. You see, in Islam, right in Islam, we know the names of the scribes, we know their biography, we know the prophets, we know the messengers. Okay, we know about them. It's not like unknown people. Eh? You know, it's like anyone can say anything, and you have to put them as a as a canonized word of God. There. 
It is the canonized word of God because Moses, David, Solomon, Jeremiah, they wrote these things down. And the job of the scribes was to preserve and protect it. And Yeshua, Isa, he came along and he said, the word of the Lord, of the Lord is pure and it's perfect. That's okay. So you're going to tell me, you're, wait a minute, minute, you're going to tell me that a mighty oh, messenger like Moses, one, one second. Yep. You're, you're, you're going to tell me, a was. mighty, I agree, mighty He's messenger, meekest, meekest of, mighty messenger of God, Israel. Moses, are you saying he went about killing everyone in, media, in the median and harvesting the virgin girls and killing everyone else? Is that what you're telling me? That's pure righteous and perfect according to you. Okay. Killing everyone except the virgin girls. If you have a group, if you have a group of Is Philistines right? uh -huh. who yeah. are going to attack your land, right. they come in and they're going to rape your family. Right. Do you think it's a God, a good God who says, let them do it? Or he says, no, you kill them, you destroy their family. Why keep the virgin? That is a just and, and fair and loving God. Right. That's what they were attacking and they were they were following false gods. Right. So the you're, prophet, you're and, telling and me following Baal. Wait, you're telling me that those children, those infants, those babies okay. that who were deliberately targeted to yes. be killed, yes. you think those babies were going to attack the Israelites? God's outside of time, yeah? So he knows, no, no, wait, wait. He, does he know what you're going to do tomorrow? Hold God, on, hold God. on, hold on. No, God no, no, tells no. you why they were killed, not for the evil. He knows what these children will do when they got up. Really? Be worse where did he say that? Families. Show me where he says that in the Bible. He says he's the eternal no, God. No. Show me where he says those babies were going to kill tomorrow. Here we go. Gone. And make sure it mentions the babies there. Because this is how they justify killing children, you know? Oh, they're going to kill the Jews, the right. Israelites, or kill them all? If you came across... That sounds like the ISIS to me. If you came across... Um, Hitler, baby Hitler, right? Yeah. And you knew he was going to grow up to kill a whole load of people. Would you kill that baby? I would. Are you talking about one baby? God told hold, me hold on, hold on. this baby is going to go up yeah. and kill. Let me ask you this. And, and Are you talking about people? one baby or talking about the entire community? community. I'm not talking about the entire community. I'm talking well, about, I'm talking about the entire community. That's been mentioned in there. Yeah. Okay, the Midianites were massacred mercilessly for vengeance. What for vengeance, the, not for the evil, for the, the vengeance. Gonna do? What were the what Midianites going to do? do? What were the Midianites? What was the, plan? What what the Midianites? They were a bunch of uh, false god worshipping. No, no, my friend. The Midianites were the people who gave refuge people. to Moses. Yes. He yes. Go refuge. and read your history. They lost the plot. <laughs> they, they lost, lost the plot. plot. <laughs> These people give refuge. It is like telling. Right, here we go. Come on, man. I can't even fathom the one. Isaiah 46:10. He says, this is uh, Yehovah. No, right? Read this Numbers 31, God. the one I'm mentioning. Declaring the end from the beginning and the ancient times, and, and from ancient times are things that are not yet done. That is what he does. He declares the end from the beginning. So he's he's eternal. Where does this it is, say this is kill the children? Means. Because yeah, they're going to the kill eternal. you tomorrow. Where does it say that? He knows what. You, That's what you. Are, are of you course, he knows everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So however, he knows what you're going to do however, next week. however, God doesn't say it is for the evil that I'm going to kill these people. He says very clearly it is for vengeance. Read Numbers 31, 18, and you will know what I mean. Okay, what did they do then? What was the vengeance? Read it. Context? Read it in there. What is it? 31, 18. What, Jeremiah? No, Numbers. Numbers? Yeah. You can read from the beginning if you want. Numbers, numbers 31 okay, I mean, from I, the beginning. I, that's I fine. I don't have to turn to I, I believe that, you, that that's what it says. Okay, so Numbers so 31 so tells God, you why everyone. Why did he command the people to save the virgin girls? And how would they know they are virgins? Was there a virgin detection machine somewhere? <laughs> I don't know, maybe or did they save the children who they knew were not married? Right, these are isolated. Um, <laughs> these are not isolated. I can show you a couple are. more. No, 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 I can no. show you more if you want. They're, these are isolated. <laughs> these are not isolated. Too many. God has very specific. Sometimes you just have to trust him because you know you think, trust why, him. Why you, yeah, trust you, him. You Sorry. Don't understand. Trust the writers of the Bible. The righteous. That of God. killing babies is okay. Come it's on. You know that. what? Of all the people around here, you're the only one here justifying killing of the children. The Israelites, Seriously. hang on, the, the Jews, right, the Israelites, they yeah. were killing, they were sacrificing their babies. Sorry, the Jews were gods. sacrificing? Yes, they were. Read, read right. the whole okay. Bible. Sacrificing to whom? A number, to the false gods. False gods. And so, so God says, the all right, they're sacrificing their children. Why don't we do it in, instead of them? <laughs> Really? Two wrongs make a right? He didn't say that. Well, he did say that. Killed he them judged, all. He killed the Israelites. No, he killed he kill them all. the Midianites here, they not the Israelites. Sacrifice it and then the In fact, he commanded the Israelites to go and kill the Midianites and the Amalekites. You're taking things out of I'm not. I told you the context. Oh, he did Why didn't you read it and put it in context and then explain it to me? Well, if Try justifying killing of children in any context. context. I've got to read the whole chapter. I'll tell you what. If you can justify killing of babies in any context, 
then you are not just, a human. You are not a human being. I just told you, if you came across Hitler, you were God, right? Look, and, look. And are you, you going to you, compare your God to Hitler? You Seriously? Would, so, so you wouldn't. <laughs> come on. Would, that, that is absurd. That is absurd. You're trying to say if you, you can come kill, across baby Adolf Hitler and you wouldn't kill that baby. One baby. Hold on. One baby. Okay. How about all the Nazis? All the Nazis. Wait. All the Nazis. Would you? Hold on. Would you? Hold on. Answer it. No, I've answered. Answer that. I will. If you give me a chance. Go on. If God told you, oh God, no, you. Can I? My question. Answer my question. Okay, I will not. I will not do anything unless God tells me to do, like the way Moses did in the Bible. So Moses is going to kill, but the reason given here is not because they did evil. The reason given in the Bible is because of vengeance. Okay, don't answer my question. Just, I mean, I, why should I answer your question? Is that got nothing to do with the Quran? In the Quran, you will not find baby killing, unlike the Bible. Okay, do you want to answer my question? What is your question? I mean, uh, your question is loaded. Up until now, your question now is loaded. You know that. What, what, no. It is a loaded it's question. A You're question. asking me if I knew about the Nazis. I don't know the future. I'm not God. If God tells you to do something and gives you a specific Germany reason, Hitler. look, if God told them. The whole of I said the the Nazis. Yeah, exactly. These babies are look, look, grow forget up about, the about the whole of what Germany. About the girls? Aren't they going to Even about to one person, I don't know the future. Okay. It's been very good up until now. You know, we've been, it's been a good dialogue. But, but I mean, if you're not going to answer the question. I answered the question. That's a you're, question. you're trying to put a loaded question towards me. Question. It is a loaded question. If you're going to ask me, if you, were, if you knew about the Nazis, are going to kill them? How would I know? I'm not God. How would I know? I said, if you were God. Right? Oh, if I was God, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. You know, look, why don't we stick to the Bible? At least don't try to justify killing children. Condemn it okay. when you can. If you want to chuck out the whole of the Injil because there's certain things. That's you, not the Injil, by the way. That's the Torah I was discussing. You don't understand the. Uh, the by context. the way, that was the Torah I was discussing. The, the alleged Torah, which okay. was given to Moses, is not what is in the Old Testament. And that is the reason Allah says in what, Surah Al Baqarah, parts, verse 13, 79, that's been corrupted. What parts <laughs> of the Bible do you think are wrong? The parts. For example, killing babies, I think is not right. Okay, you've made that point. Yeah, right. move, move. The other part I don't agree with is what I already agree, uh, uh, explained to you about God repenting. What God, you, okay, God, you, you give him that one. What about the prophet Yahya when he saw Isa al Masi and he said, "Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world." If he's a true prophet, he won't lie. He's gonna, he's gonna t give his life on the cross to take away our sin. This is what Yahya. That's was the saying. other thing I don't believe. You don't believe in Yahya? Uh, no, no, I don't believe in God killing an innocent so being. So you don't believe what Yahya If you ask me a question, allow me to answer. Allow me to answer. Okay, answer. answer I will answer. No, no, I will, I will answer the way I want, not the way you want. I do not believe in a God who would who would advocate the killing of innocent being for the sinners. Why did Yahya because that is not justice. That? Why did Yahya say... Why should I believe what Yahya said based on your you, Bible? You should That's know about the sacrifice. On what basis should I believe in the Bible? It has got no early manuscript. Even the New Testament... So you don't believe show me, for, show me any manuscript Yahya. from the first century. None. For 100 years after Jesus, you have not a single manuscript. Why don't you answer the question? Just I am. Answered. That's why he doesn't believe Because it. you are expecting me to believe what what recites in your Bible is, is the truth. Yahya in the Bible. So how, do you know, how do you know Yahya wrote it in the Bible? How do you know that? It was written about Yahya. Yahya by oh, Matthew about Yahya, Yahya, not by Yahya. Not he okay. So you're Just saying that John the Baptist, okay. which you're talking about, is not the one, you know, that is, he's not one of the authors of the Gospels. I didn't say was. So you're saying what John wrote, what Yahya wrote. He didn't write anything there. Okay, so so what was written about Yahya? You don't believe that what's in the engine? Who I don't believe it? everything. You don't believe it? No, not everything. But there are certain things I believe. For example, <laughs> Yahya was a righteous man, a righteous prophet. That I believe in. Do you believe uh, Isa is the uh, word of God? Uh, word of God in what sense? Mm. In the Bible it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh. Okay. So that word of God, that spoken word of God, became a person. I believe that's true. Okay. Now, in the in your in your Quran, are you asking question he, or making statements? No, because I haven't had the chance so to let respond. Let me finish the question. Okay, go on. Because I let you finish. Okay. So if he's the word of God, yeah. Why is he? Why is he not God? Why is he not? First God? and foremost, I would like to understand what do you mean by the word of God? Is the Bible the word of God? Yes. Okay. God. Would you worship the Bible? Thank you very much. So, what do you mean by word of God? God said, "Let there be light." So you've got God speaking. Absolutely. So those so are the words of God. Okay. It is the Trinity is not in the Bible, but the Godhead is. So you have the Word, the Spirit of God. You must believe in the Spirit of God, and you have God, and they're all one. So God, so you, you're three parts: who you are, what you do, and what you say. So is God, because we're made in His image. Who you are, what you do, and what you say. So what you say, and what what God has said, that is that is uh, Yeshua. Mm -hmm. He was not the Eternal Son. 
he became the son. So he is the word of God who became flesh. And he didn't become a girl, he didn't become a goat, he became a human being. Okay. So this is the word of God. This fits, this is logical. This is, this, you know, the word of God says that the word of God, the God's spoken word will become a person. Where was, where was the word of God when God created everything? Was he with him all the time? Yes. Okay, so this word of God, yes. was he the same as Yahweh or was he separate from Yahweh? Separate and the same. No, that doesn't make sense. Well, in God's maths, it does. In if God's maths? In light, God's maths, three doesn't mean one. <laughs> in white, well, he, he said, I put my Godhead throughout the whole of creation. Where does so it say? Time, past, present, future. Okay, where does God light, say? Red, yellow, blue. Oh, where does God Height, say? Height, depth, no. breadth. So you've got the threes everywhere. Okay. Even in an atom, electron, proton, neutron. Everywhere you look, it's three, 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 three. So God has put the three in one in throughout the whole of creation. Really? And in Romans 1. Show me the three in the solar system. Solar system. Yeah. There you go. You've got you've got the galaxies, solar systems, and you've got planets in the whole universe. <laughs> so you've got the three. <laughs> Why do you only take the three Black things? Holes, no? yes. no, there's, there's so many other things in the cosmos, but you only take three because that fits into your Trinity. By the way, you said the Father, Son, it's and the everywhere. Holy Spirit are one. Show me that verse in the Bible. Show me where they are one. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. Yeah. Show me where they are one. It's in there. I can't remember where it is, but it's you don't know your main doctrine in the Bible, right? It is. I'll tell you what. Paraphrase it to me. Don't give me the exact word. Paraphrase to me where these three are one. Well, it, it just basically says the, fa the Father, the Word, and the Spirit, and these three are one. Where does it say that? It says, I think it's in John. One John. Oh, First yeah. John? Well, you know it. Where is it? Yeah, First John 5, 5 7. 7. First John 5, 7. Yeah. And that is only found in the King James Version. Do you know yeah. why? Because the King James Version is the, is the, um, is the Bible that is translated from the from uh, majority text. Have yes. you heard of the majority yes, text? Yes, Which is the good original manuscript. Yes. A lot of these NI, I call the so NIV, the text is, is the new Illuminate version. Right. It's dodgy. That's it's not fine. going back to the original good Greek text. Okay. The textus receptus. So you have to go back to the good text, not the dodgy ones, not the Catholic. Do you know how old is the textus the receptus? Not the Vaticanus. My friends, how old, how old is the textus receptus? The textus receptus, that's uh, knocking on 2000 years. 2,000 years? Yeah. So you're saying that from the time of Jesus? A little bit after. There are, the, the, there, uh, there are a thousand the years Angel, after. The Injil was written between 40 and 90 My friend, I'm talking about the Injil. I'm talking about the Textus Receptus, yeah. which you said is more accurate than the other versions of the... Yes, of yes, yes. Do you know they, they date back to a thousand years after Jesus? No, no, no. Maybe no, you should no, go and read, no, read the history. It's not a thousand you should years. go and read the history. It's a thousand years <laughs> after Jesus. They had thousands of manuscripts, thousands yeah, of from the 10th century, my friend, of the Bible in the first century, second century. Sorry, it's and more then than Constantine a thousand. Yeah. came it's along, more than a thousand. crazy pot smoking lunatic, and he said, right now, now the Roman Empire is going to be. Well, that's where my friend. This is from the 10th century. I don't trust century. him. They had the, the, the they, they had the original. I'm not uh, asking you to go and trust into others, but go and do your homework. together the majority text. They built. They made, it was the Texas from the 10th Receptus, century. And that's where we get the good, accurate book. My friend, it's from the Bibles, 10th they're not century. Accurate. I'll tell you what. I don't trust them. I'll tell you what. You know the New International Version, which you don't I'm trust? Dodgy. That's fine. That's fine. Them. The New International Version, you most got more. Churches, most churches use that. Bible, that's fine. The New International really Version, they got more than a thousand, sorry, hundred scholars who have actually gone back and tried to collect the earliest manuscripts available earliest uh, doesn't mean most most accurate. hold on hold on the earliest manuscripts available to yeah. them and this had this particular version which is called the johannine comma the first john 5 7 is not found in any manuscript before the 14th century so you got 1400 years after jesus yes for that particular verse to appear no that's the niv it's dodgy. <laughs> no the niv says that this is dodgy whom the do I NIV believe? Calls the unless you can, the NIG attacking un the King unless, you, for? unless you can show me you got a manuscript. The Bible, you got the RS. Yeah, yeah, we got lost. We got lost. We got lost. You want to go back to you the can original? Can call them dodgy or no dodgy? To so me, the, that is a Christian problem. Go, if it's the Bible, you need to go back to the good original. Text. No, but you got to go back to the and manuscripts. It preserved in John fourteen twenty six. Jesus said, "I will send my Holy Spirit, and He will remind you of everything I've said." That's what he said. So yeah. these people, now, now we Matthew, are, Mark, Luke, and John, they meticulously we, copied we, it. We have to go. It, and the early church, they, they copied it meticulously. And that's why we have So why can't you find a manuscript before the 14th century to quote that oh, particular verse? Oh, yeah. Where are they? If you, trust me, if the King James Version. There's 24,000 complete New Testaments or copies. They're not complete. The they're fragments, second, my friend. They're not complete. That's why they're called well, some of them are complete. <laughs> first century, you got some zero manuscripts. Do you know that? First century, you got zero manuscripts. Zero. None. Zilch. Whatsoever. 
It was written in the first century. Yes, but where are the manuscripts? Yeah, we don't have the first century, but we have... So the, if you don't have a hundred years of manuscripts, what are you relying on? Where, who was alive to tell the tale? The, the devil in the second century. Destroyed. So in the early church, the yeah. Christians were, were scattered, the, the temple was destroyed, and they were persecuted. And Jesus said, if you believe in me, you'll be persecuted. You'll, 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 you'll probably lose your life because of me. And that's what happened. And they tried to destroy the original manuscript. But the believers, they secretly kept it. And that's why we have the second century and third, third century copies. The second century, you got like a few fragments. So you got a handful. You got 24,000. So, no, no, no. Not yeah, the second yeah, 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 century. Yeah, yeah. Not the second no, century. Okay, not total, the third and the fourth. Second and third. Look, look. The number of manuscripts increase as you go from the third to the fourth and beyond. Okay, these 24,000 manuscripts which you talk about, it's not found in the early centuries. They're found in much later centuries. Yeah, well, some go... Have to agree some, to disagree on Wait, wait, some go... The, right the textus receptus you speak to the is from the Christian, 10th century. They say, oh, trust in the NIV, trust in the... They don't know this stuff. Free you need to go... Modern you need history. to source it in the right source. But if you don't have the source, where are you going to go? If you don't have the early manuscripts... The you have the second and third century. Yeah, but you got fragments from the second century. Copies. No, fragments, yeah, copies. I, I, I'll admit that they are copies. Look, you know the P52? But, but they wait, wait. I'll tell you what. The P52, which you have in the John Ryland's museum, it's the size of a credit card. Yeah. Yes? Which yeah. dates to like late 10th, uh, second century or the early third century. Uh, well, uh, you, got, you got a few other fragments. My friend, that. listen. I've actually studied this. If you go and study your manuscripts, yes? Yeah you'll find that the Textus Receptus, which actually forms the source of the KJV, is the 10th or the 11th century. It's not early. No, no, no. Go and read it, my that. friend. He Go and read it. That. Your own true. scholars say it. No, no, no. Go read it. Hey, Honestly, I'm not kidding. Google it. Go. You've got the majority. Like, the majority text is much later. No, no. So that is what the Textus Receptus is. I don't know where you got that from. The majority from text is the scholars. second and third. Te no, no. They collected the, that's why they call the majority text <laughs> and the early thousands of copies. <laughs> they put them together for the text. So how many? So got it the I'll tell you what. Around. Have you actually looked at the manuscripts so very from the second century? Our eternity depends on it. This is a short time. This is a short time that we have now. Yeah, exactly. Jesus, so yeah. don't depend on a book which cannot Je be credible. Well, do, is Jesus, a book which calls what, God Jesus, that he regrets. A book which talks about the word of women God. and children being massacred oh, for we, vengeance. Going back to that stuff. Of course I am, because Let's you don't like it. Prophet Jesus. Sorry? Prophet. Let's stick to Jesus. The, to the great prophet, prophet Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Wonderful man. Wonderful man. A great him. messenger. The Messiah. Awesome. Born of a virgin. Yes. yes. He the is the Messiah. He will come back in the second coming. Alhamdulillah, as Muslims, we believe that. However, to equate a man who says, I can by myself do nothing, to equate this man to God is a folly. Okay. I, of myself, of my shell, can do nothing, but my spirit... He didn't say shell, he said myself. Close. Yeah, well, this is the whole context. Don't take it out of context. I did. I said it. You're the one who said shell. He was dependent on the Father in heaven for power. He prayed. Was he fully he God? Said, God? I have to do a whole load of ton, a ton of stuff, and I need your wisdom because he was dependent by God for a time, but now he's in heaven, he is one with God. He is one with so why is he, when he's on earth, wait, wait, wait. if you're a human being, if, you, if you're God, you become a human being, you just say, you, well, I can do anything, wait, wait. I can read your mind, I can do this. He could have done that, but no, he humbled himself and he grew up as a kid. Are you saying when he was And he had to grow in earth. knowledge and wisdom. And that's exactly what he did. He grew in knowledge and wisdom and in favor with God and man. Yeah. Are you saying and when he, he was on earth? The prophecies. Well, he could not teach finished. in the synagogue until he's, he's he was 30 speech. years old. 30 years old. Why? Because that's the synagogue rule. Preaching, right? So for three years, he don't preached. Preach. I am the way, the truth. And there's no other name under heaven by which you must be saved. And in the end, the gospel is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Adonai Yeshua Hamashiach. Adonai is God. You can't say that unless you're God. So if he is God, why you say? Adonai, why you're name. saying? Wait. Why you're saying? When he was a man, yep. yes, he could do nothing. I, was he fully God or fully man when he was he on could, earth? He could like you, like you. If you, if like, I, I speak to a lot of atheists, they can say, "Well, I can do a lot of stuff without God." Yeah, you can write a book, you can ride a bike, you can do. You can do nothing of eternal value unless you trust in God in prayer. And this is how God lowered him. This is how Jesus. And that is my question him. to you. When Jesus, during his three years ministry yes. that you talk about, yep. or thirty-three years on earth. Was he fully God ever? Fully God? Yes. Yes. He was fully God. So he could do anything, and right? fully man. He could do... How can you be fully God and fully man? You can't. You're right. <laughs> well, in, in human maths... <laughs> well... In human is, maths... You could, but if you're God, you know you know God can do anything. So can God he? can come to... Can God plan. do anything? Yes. Can God create another God? Right. God could... Answer the there's question. There's three things God can't do. Oh, God. He can't be stupid. Okay. That would be stupid. Right. right? He can't lie. 
He can't die. Now we we'll get on to this. This is important. He can't and die. He cannot deny That's what he like said. His yeah, word. All right. We'll get into that. You'll like that one. Yeah. He cannot lie, die, or deny. Can his he word. create another god? Right. Did Jesus? Are you going to answer the, the question? Huh? Can God create another well, I god? I answered that. He can't. He, he can't. He can't do anything stupid. How do? You, wait a minute. Why is creating can another he, god? Can he make a jelly. He can't eat. No, no. no he's not wait a minute. Why is? Could do, but he's why do you? Why do you think creating? Go outside of his character, which is all wise. Hold on. Why do you think cloning God is stupid, according to your rational? Cloning God? Yes. Because he's almighty God. You can't... I mean, but isn't that what happens can, in the Trinity? He can make man <laughs> in his Isn't that image. what happens in the Trinity? So we are... It says we, we are gods with a small g in that we have... Small g. What we do, what we do, what, 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 what we say and what we do. So we are a kind of... Um, are, you, are you saying you're God? I'm saying with a small g. What's, what's we are made, are you, Don't you think we're made in the image of God? How, what, do do mean by that? what do you mean animal. by that? You're not an animal. I know okay. I'm not an animal. You, what, yeah, what do you mean? Not. What do you mean but by that? Evolutionist, but? right, this is what I mean. Choice. No, no, what do you mean by in the image you, of God? I can create a computer. Well, I can't, but some people can create a computer. It's programmed. It has no choice. Animals, a dog, just lives by instinct. They are sinless. They don't do anything wrong. They have no real choice outside of you their You mean they are free will, is but that what you're saying? We are sinners. We have a choice. Okay, you mean we are we free will? Good or we can That's do fine, bad. we are free will. I yes, agree. So does God. Okay. So that in that sense we're so, made in God's So if God has free will, will God has a heart. Fair enough. God's heart. If God has free will, let me ask you this. Yeah. Can God be ignorant of anything? This is again this stupid thing. No, because that'd be stupid. Okay, fair enough. No. Was Jesus ignorant of anything? He lowered himself and he had to grow in wisdom and stature with right. God. So he wasn't fully God then? So in that sense, no. But in the sense that he was God and he limited himself to a human being, yes. Well, if, you're, if you're saying in that sense he's not fully God, then he can't be fully okay, God. When he's a little baby, yeah. okay, imagine this, you're a little baby and Mary and Miriam, she mm -hmm. comes up to him and says, right, Jesus, you need to learn how to feed yourself. He said, I'm God. I know how to feed myself. I can write a book. I, no, no, he was a human being. He had to learn, he had to grow up. Okay, so he was a human he, being. I agree with the human being part. Yeah, but, but wait, wait, you said he's fully God. Yes. So this fully God couldn't feed time. himself. You said it yourself. In that sense, yeah. Look, the fully man, I agree. The fully baby, whatever you want to call yeah. it at that time, I agree, it's limited. And, yeah. and he cannot feed himself. So, wait, 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 I haven't finished. But at that same time, when he was a fully go, uh, f yes, fully as a teenager, a fully as a teenager, human being, yeah. he was also no as a baby yeah. when he couldn't feed himself. Yes. When he had to wean off his mother, he humbled himself. Hold on, he lowered hold on, himself hold on, to, to hold on. When he has humbled himself and cannot even person. feed himself, and he That's actually needs feeding by his own mummy. Miriam, yeah. Yes, he yeah. had to need. That means you cannot be fully God. Well, in your logic, yeah. But well, God logic, is it? Is God? Is God going to be dependent on his own? I Creation? Wait, it's, Are you serious? Come on. This is going to be a stalemate. Now let's oh, no, it's not a stalemate. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, okay, it's clearly, you, you it's, 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 it's it. very okay. clear, it's right. very clear that this. God here is dependent on a creation Here's the for his own sustenance. Okay. And that is illogical. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vilgar and I'm a Norwegian Muslim convert. I'm working with the Dawah organization Islamnet to establish the Deen of Allah here in Norway. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.